Hey guys, I'm Oz here, and welcome to another episode. Uh, as you can see, I'm not in my usual place, because uh, for this tutorial, um, it is the magnetostatic engine tutorial and the uh, rotational dynamo tutorial, because they went, because one generates RF power and the other one uses RF power to convert into uh, rotary craft power, you know, so torque and speed. And for many of the uh, parts of these machines, well not parts, but the, the upgrades which are required for the magnostatic engine to increase its uh, output, um, do require some, um, basically they require some inductive in ingots, uh, sinistered uh, sin tungsten, bedrock alloy, and uh, currently on my Let's Play world, I, I don't really have access to jet fuel because I've been focusing on other stuff. Um, <clears throat> it also needs a, uh, a magnetizing unit as well for one of the upgrades. Uh, so that's why I'm in the test world. And as you can see, test world is a, is a desert, which is a handy tint, hint because uh, if you live in a, well, it doesn't matter, if you live in a, a biome, it's always good to do your testing in the same biome just so you're not getting any temperature variables uh, off when you go to uh, implement whatever you tested in your real pipe. What, real play, real life. I was gonna say real life. It's not real life. Anyway, so you've got the rotational dynamo here. So it's what turns the torque power, which I've got a uh, infinite industrial coil powering at the moment. And as you can see, I've already put a sign up here. It's got a max input of eight thousand one hundred ninety-two newton meters uh, and eight thousand one ninety-two rads. Um, you can put more power into it, but it's uh, essentially wasted. So if we look at it, uh, its current output is. 11,924 uh, RF tick and basically at the inputs right now it's receiving about 67 million watts so uh, if you put any more power into it it it'll get wasted so ideally if you've got more newton meters try and convert it down gear, gearbox it down to just so you, you're underneath the 8192 newton meters and so forth and I've just got a creative cell here so it doesn't really matter I'm just using it to power the next item, which is the magno magnetostatic engine, uh, which uh, essentially turns the RF power into uh, rotational power. Now, base, when you put it in, it has an output max, or it has an output of eight newton meters and a max of 256 rads. So if we right click on it, it's got a, a GUI and it's got a, uh, an RF storage bank and it's got a lubricant storage bank here so it does require lubricant to work. Uh, let's minimize the speed down as you can see. Um, you can change how fast the output's at. So on with no upgrades it's got a max of 256 threads. You can't change the torque output so um, make sure you take that into account when you're upgrading because uh, when you upgrade it the torque is not changeable, so if you don't want that torque, you have to get into have to uh, gearbox down it. Um, okay, and you've got this little button down here. Uh, so it's the redstone control. So like this, it's uh, if it looks like gunpowder, it's essentially um, on always. If it's like this, it's uh, wait, let's see. That one means it needs a redstone signal. This one means that it. Uh, what is it? I think it's um. I'm trying to figure it out. No. I totally forgot which ones these mean. Okay, that one. This one has no redstone signal. So I, I assume that if you put a redstone signal, it turns off. This one is on no matter what. And this one only turns on when you've got a redstone signal. Yeah, that's it. As you can see, it's uh, only... 2048 watts uh, from the base power, so it's not really that great. Um, you're gonna have to uh, make some upgrades for it to get it to go faster. So these upgrades are um, a varying uh, difficulty to make. The first one, the T1, pretty easy, it's HSL steel, ethanol crystal, so it's practically whatever we've got already. So I've already got one down here. Since I'm in creative, it doesn't, it, well, when you right click on this, with the upgrade, it will be upgraded, and you'll lose the upgrade, but uh, wait, I'll just take creative mode off, just so you can see it disappear. It disappears. As you can see, the torque immediately goes up to 32. You can't change that. Um, it now goes up to 512 rad, so you can uh, boost the speed up 
to 512 now to now it does 16,000 watts of power. Okay, so on to the next one, uh, slightly a bit harder, except it requires a shaft unit and gold. So let's just, which is that one. As you can see, it says this one's magnetized to 720 watts. Uh, it's because uh, I've already magnetized it. This one here must be magnetized to 720 watts. So this is where the magnetizer comes into it, which requires uh, 2048, what is it, uh, radians and a power of 16,000 watts essentially. And on at its base power, it's actually quite slow. Right now I've got a huge amount of rads going into it. And you can see how fast it goes now. Oh, wrong one. This one, magnetized, yep. Oh, that's right. And it needs a alternating current, this magnetizer too. And I've got, got this, uh, a uh, clock from expanded redstone, it's on its uh, longest time period, so I'm going to sort back so it goes on and off, and we get that alternating current, as you can see now it's working, that's even going to take a while, even with a super power, so I would suggest that, uh, leaving this in the machine for a long time and coming back to it, let's just make this one slow down so it's not ticking on all the time, and we'll just get the one that we've already magnetized, as you can see the second one, we can get up to 128 nanometers and max speed of 124 radians. So, let's see, right up to 128 nanometers up to 124. So it makes, then makes 131,000 watts. Okay, so now we move on to the tier three one. This is where you get the inductive uh, ingots from. And I believe, what's the inductive ingots made from again? Oh, my bad. I forgot what they're made from. Uh, it's Go well. Have I? Uh, I'll just turn the. I'll need to turn cheat mode off just so I can see the recipe again. Okay. Uh, you on that one? How do we make them? It's gold and redstone, or gold flakes and redstone. That's what I thought it was. Yeah. And then what you do is you go over to a jet fuel. I mean a jet furnace, pulse jet furnace. And I think you need about, okay, well, okay, yeah, now it's cooking. So, what is it, how much power do we need to get that one to work, does it say? No, uh, no, well, I'd say about 800. <laughs> okay, so once you get these inductive ingots out of the jet fuel, I mean, there, pulse jet furnace. And go over to actually making the ingots. So, and you need a gold core plus HL steel ingots to get this third one. This one does not need to be um, magnetized, luckily for us. Put it up there, and then we get 512 newton meters and 248 maximum radians a second. Okay, and then we've got our fourth tier one, which uh, now we need this stuff called uh, sinstered. Tungsten. Hopefully someone can tell me how that's actually pronounced. Um, and of course an inductive ingot and your HSL sting it, and you get these uh you get the tier four upgrade, which goes up to 248 nanometers, uh, and you get four thousand ninety-two rads maximum. And if you want uh, I haven't got my cheat mode on, so can I jump? Yep. Okay, to get um the tungsten, what you do is essentially uh go to your extractor which is something else I haven't built in my Let's Play yet. And you should get as a byproduct, which for some reason, oh, there we go. Tungsten flakes. There's my byproduct. And then to cook this, you need to put it into a furnace, but the furnace needs to be heated up to um, 1,350 degrees. So we'll just make sure that's up there first or else it won't cook. I think I'll find that uh, a gasoline engine can do about, get a, one of these machines up to about a thousand, so you're gonna need a bit more power than that. Okay, we're up to the right temperature. And now we can cook it quite fast. We've got sinister ones now, yay. And now we can just chuck the upgrade in. I've already put it out, haven't I? Yep. Okay, now we've got a maximum of 
2048 newton meters and the max speed of 496 okay for the last one um, you can push it all the way up to 8192 and same for the radians um, it's this is how it's not made in the work table it's actually made over in the blast furnace which have I got that one cooking no not yet it'll cook up pretty fast <coughs> First of all, you're going to need to make some bedrock alloys, which are fairly easy. Uh, basically, it's one piece of steel ingot in the blast furnace and four pieces of bedrock dust. So um, that's something else I didn't have in the uh, Let's Play as well. I haven't got the bedrock yet. Uh, so you've got that just bedrock alloy. And let me see if I've got this. Uh, I should have more bedrock. Oh, no, I need one. Okay, so it should be one bedrock alloy in the middle. Uh, I think the inductive ingots in the corners and then the bedrock dust in the empty spaces. We should, yep, that's it. And we should get the final upgrade, the tier five. Okay, let's go chuck it in and <coughs> there we go. Uh, 8,192 meters of torque and 8,192 meters of rad. Um, this episode was actually, uh, requested, and I just totally forgot his name. It starts with an I. I'll put it up in the annotations. Um, so I'd like to thank him for doing the request, giving me the idea of doing it, and so forth. Um, if you guys got any requests, let me know. Uh, any questions, of course, let me down, down below in the comments. Um, if you like these kinds of videos, press the like button, of course. Subscribe, that would always help. And until next time, guys. Nah.